Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So, um, I wanted to go ahead and try a little experiment and test out a uh, powder foundation and see how it did with cream products. And so that's what today's video is about. And so we'll go ahead and get started. And um, let's see, as far as what I did today, um, since it's later in the afternoon and I'm not going out. I just went ahead and used the Trader Joe's antioxidant facial serum. So that's what I have on as a primer today. And it's actually, um, it has an oily consistency. Uh, I like those kind of products when you're using a powder foundation because they will actually grab onto the powder and keep it on your face. So I like a primer that has some oil in it. Um, let's see, I do have the Essence 16-hour uh, Cover and Last Powder Foundation, and this one is one in 03 Bright Beige, so um, I did go ahead and put this all over my face, and that's the way that it actually looks, and um, so that's, and I put it everywhere. Um, I put it under the eyes, I put it on the eyelids, I just, and I did a really thick layer of it as well because I'm using it as a foundation not as a finishing powder and then I added every single cream product that I could on top of it and you can tell me what you think and I'll tell you what I think on it um, I did go ahead and use the Essence Thick and Wow and this is their new um, brow gel and so that's what I have on in the brows and as far as color well, it has volumizing fi fibers in there, and I think it's the taupe one. I usually, it is caramel blonde. So actually, it's caramel blonde that I have on. And then I did go ahead and use the LYS. This is their triple fix um, concealer, and I do have that on under my eyes. So that's the way that that's looking. Um, I did go ahead and use again the LYS. I should probably clean this up a little bit. Well, maybe not. So this is the LYS um, bronzer and it is one of the most emollient, emollient there we go, um, yeah, creamy bronzers that I have. Um, I have it on a medium and it does go really, really brown on me. And um, it doesn't have any red, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I like bronzers that have some red because of my hair and everything. But this one goes on really brown. And then as far as what I used for the cheeks, um, I did go ahead and use the Wet n Wild. Uh, this one is actually the Peach Bum. So I have that on. And then I did go ahead and use the ColourPop. This is Out of Quartz, and I go ahead and use this as a highlighter. So that's what I have on as far as highlighter today. And so that's, uh, yeah. And then I actually did three uh, blushes. So I put on the Wet n Wild, and then I went ahead and put on the ColourPop Let's Dance on top of this. So these are the two that I have on. And then I did go ahead and put on the Out of Quartz as far as the highlighter. So we have cream, powder, cream here as far as what I did there. And um, so far, as far as that part goes, it's definitely um, it's definitely on there. I can see it. Um, Let's try a little bit more. See if we can get some of the color back. Because I can definitely see the bronzer here. But I'm not really seeing a lot of the blush. So here we go. So again, this is the Let's Dance by ColourPop. And again, I had put a, a setting spray on here. So that probably took this down a little bit. But. I don't know. Can you see a little better now? And let's see, what else did I do? As far as the eyes go, I started with this one. This is a, 
no, who is it? No, Mercier. So it's in strapless and it's by Laura Mercier and it's one of her caviar sticks. It's just a smaller one. I got it in the birthday package over at Sephora. So uh, that's what I have on as my base for my eyes. And then as far as the rest of it, let me get to it here. did use the Emeride um, eyeliner, the cream gel eyeliner. And um, so I did go ahead and use the Culture 2 by Juvia's Place and went ahead and added this over the top of the caviar stick. And let's see, I do have um, this on the inner corner. Then I have this all over the lid. Um, and then some of this blue and I have that in the outer corner. And I think that definitely this blue, well, it could be because of the caviar stick, but I think it it's the only product that I had just sort of wanting to kind of spread out and spread around, and I had to clean up a little bit. Um, but I love this formula. It works really well. Um, it could be just it didn't work well with the caviar stick, or it kind of you know, so um, as far as the way that the eye look actually turned out, sort of a gray blue look. And um, these are, well, uh, I have a whole bunch of the duo chromes on. Um, these two right here are definitely duo chromes. So I, um, it, it's a really sparkly look. I like it. Um, Let's see, did I have anything else? The lips. Um, I went ahead and used the lip liner from BH Cosmetics. It's Sorbet. And um, I did go ahead and use a finishing powder on top of it, which was also something I wanted to try. This is Beauty Pie Triple Beauty Perfect Glowy Powder. And so it's a very glowy finishing powder. And then I did go ahead and use the ninth inning uh, shimmer spray by Trixie Cosmetics to go ahead and uh, set the whole face with. And um, I think it's coming out really matte from what I can see um, actually in person is that this particular foundation is um, definitely on my face. It isn't acting like a powder where it just sort of disappears. It's definitely on there. It's coming out as matte. Um, I don't think the bronzer bled. I think um, it pretty much set on there, which is a good thing. And um, the color um, from the powder, uh, it, it, this one, the powder blush, is definitely sticking on there now. Um, and the eyeshadow is really sticking on there as well. So none of the products, are they? No, they're not. Everything's set, and so nothing is sort of trying to migrate down or around or anything. So I would have to say that, you know, if you're looking for a powder foundation, I'm it doesn't look powdery on me, and I've had that happen um, with a couple of different powder foundations where, you know, I get it on there and it just looks like I put too much powder on for the day. Um, it's not doing that. I, it's actually looking really matte, and it looks like I have coverage everywhere. Um, it's sticking to my nose and my chin and everything. So, yeah, I didn't expect to actually be liking this foundation as much as I do. But if you're looking for a powder foundation and you want to stay in the 4 to $10 range, this is definite possibility for you, okay? It's, um, it's matte. It's definitely matte. And I put the, you know, the finishing powder on it that's glowy and this matte powder is definitely, it's taken over and this isn't showing up 
the way that it does on a cream foundation. So if you want to go really matte, this would be the product to do it with. And um, yeah, I think that uh, the look turned out okay. And um, probably with the lips, I would go a little bit darker. I also have on one of the So Glassy from ColourPop as far as their uh, <clears throat> as far as the lip gloss so I have the lip liner and the lip gloss on and this color is just a little light for me so um other than that I think uh yeah good product matte product very matte product but yeah it'll work for you and I am not testing out the 16 hour claim today I just pretty much wanted to see how it would do with cream products and I think it passed. So uh, that's the video. I hope that you have a great day. And I'll see you later. Bye.